Hello, students. Happy summer or school year if you're watching this during the school year. I wanted to look at what I normally in class call the SSB. It's the Star Spangled Banner, the national anthem of the United States of America. So the drum part starts with a very long drum roll. Um, it lasts during um, an introduction. Drum roll, please. And it keeps going. Oh, say, can you see? Then it repeats back to A. And then we get to letter B, and the snare roll stops. The song goes much slower, so that can take, like, you know, 30 seconds. Letter B is, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two. Here at this point, you have a six measure rest, followed by another measure of rest. And some of you might be thinking, why doesn't it say seven measure rest? Because at the beginning of the seventh measure, it slightly slows down. So they had to make that measure separate so you knew when the slight slowdown happens. Otherwise, you'd come back in early. So at letter B, and the one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, and one. And at that moment, when you come back in after all that resting, it's starting soft. It's a little lead in to that ending. And C takes us into the ending section. All right, so some things that we need to know about our rolls. A long roll means you don't have to count it. You just buzz away. Remember, every stick gets three or more bounces unless you are doing a closed roll. But for right now, we're doing three or more bounces for every hit. So this is that whole opening of the song is the long roll. And on the very last note, there's like a half note roll, but there's a fermata on it. So that's also a long roll. Whenever it says long roll, you just buzz and go to town. At the song, don't roll louder than the band can play. You probably can do that, so don't roll super loud. All right, there are two other rolls in the song. One is there, circled in red, and the other is there, circled in red. Um, these technically have two names. You could call them half note rolls, but no one ever really does. Um, so we want to know about their sticking. Now, in a different video, we talked about the nine stroke roll, and that was four buzzes and an off. These are 17 stroke rolls. So it's eight buzzes and an off. The primary sticking would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, off. Um, musically, I would think it one E and a two E and a off with the buzz, or one E and a two E and a off without the buzz. So that last hit is on three. It is not accented. Some people always try to end the roll with a Ugh! No. Some songs call for an accent or a heavy accent or a marcato. This one calls for nothing, so the roll just ends at the same volume. Eight buzzes and one hit. All right, so in the beginning, long roll, the song happens. We have all of our resting and we come back in one, two, and three, and one, two, three, and a one, two, three, and a one, two, three, and a one, e and a two, e and a three, four, and one, e and a two, and three, and one, e and a two, e and a three, four and one e and a two and three and long roll on the computerized play along the long roll at the end is shorter in real life we'll hold it longer so there's your star spangled banner snare part please please spend time reviewing this practicing with this practicing with the video of the play along um, please make this so that you know it and can do it really well and understand how the part works anything you don't understand this is YouTube. Go back to the part in the video that helps you. Have a good day.